Welcome to our Spam Titan tutorial. My name is Brian Schrift, and I'm going to be walking you through some of the tips that I use to quickly and efficiently process my spam quarantine report. This report arrives at 3 p.m. daily if you have received spam in the last 24 hours. Here's my spam quarantine report from today, and as you'll see, I received 33 spam messages. So what is a spam message? A spam message is an email that fails enough spam checks that it generates a score greater than 5. Spam filtering is a constant war, IT folks trying to block spam while spammers try to make it around our blocks. Additionally, there can be false positives where a valid email is caught in a spam filter. And that's what I'm going to give you some tips on how to quickly review. First, we're going to look at the score, because this is important for locating potential false positives. You'll see all of your spam emails sorted by score, so if you do have a false positive, it'll most likely be in the first few lines of the email. Also, newsletters, automated notifications, and other types of mass email may be picked up as spam, which you may or may not want to receive. For example, you'll see some email from Mint, a personal financial application, which is really slick and I would recommend, uh, by the way, uh, which I just set up budgets yesterday. So today, Mint is alerting me to unusual activity because, of course, uh, these categories just got tripped for the first time. In my instance, if I wanted to receive these emails for Mint, I have two actions to the right I could use. Clicking deliver will deliver that particular email just this one time. This is very useful if you're not sure if the sender is legitimate or not. If you know the sender is legitimate, then I can click whitelist and it will deliver that email to my inbox as well as continuing to deliver it in the future. You'll notice that the from address isn't pretty. This is due to security, as it's very easy to insert a fake from address. Since this email tripped multiple spam filters already, it's only going to show you the actual email address from the sender as opposed to its friendlier name. Another area to focus on is the end of the quarantine report, as there are some special rules we have put in place to better protect our clients. For example, any non-common domain names such as .us, .de, .tv, .biz, etc. are automatically going to be quarantined by adding 100 to the score. This is because one of the popular methods of spamming and phishing is to register and use these non-standard domain names. For example, I recommend you visit phishingourclients.com and, re and read how we registered a fake domain name, precisionbs.tech, and phished our clients. Anyone can do this as it's very simple. If you run across a legitimate sender who's using one of these non-standard domain names, simply whitelist them and they won't be quarantined again in the future. We do this to draw special attention again to these non-standard domain names due to the increase of spam and phishing. You'll also see a number of options and links at the bottom of the email. These links will allow you to request an updated quarantine report at any time. So if you're expecting an email and you haven't received it yet, you can simply click send me a new report now containing either all quarantined items or just the new items since the last report was generated and it'll immediately arrive in your inbox. There are additional options available for advanced users as well as options to manage an entire organization's spam quarantine and domain whitelisting. For more information on these options or for any help, please contact us. I hope you found this information useful, and again, if you haven't read the Spam Titan PDF, I highly recommend doing so. Thank you and have a great day.